Okay, I guess you can do your, your introduction, Gabe. I am proud to introduce our distinguished Toastmaster and my great friend, Ron Thompson. Ron uh, comes to us from the West Coast where he was the first Eagle Scout in Oregon, I believe. Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> first Eagle Scout. And he um, has a very interesting and colorful past. And we enjoy his talks. He's very interested in science and nature. And so he always explains even the most sophisticated scientific concepts in a way we can all understand. But mostly, we he's endeared to us because it's despite his own significant health challenges, he is the greatest encourager of others that you would ever meet. In fact, he makes these little roses. He makes them from fabric from a place in California. And many of the men in our club wear the roses he gives them when they give their speech. So without further ado, Ron Thompson. You talk as long as you need. <laughs> hey, we'll let you know. We'll let Welcome, you know at folks. How are you doing? Good. 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 I'm Goodbye. here. I'm going to tickle your mind and open that door in that inner home and make you flap your butterfly. I'm going to give you a few examples of butterfly wings in my life, and you'll start seeing how butterfly wings flap in your own. When I walk down the street, I wave by, give thumbs up to drive cars that drive by. About two years ago, I had a man, he turned around, and he parked in the center lane and he had his window down. He said, you just made my day. And I walked around and said he had a lousy day. And when I said, he waved high, it just made him feel good. And when I gave him thumbs up, I gave him permission to feel better. Wow. Butterfly wings from a hand saying hi. It's cars. Mm -hmm. I buy. Mm -hmm. I will say right now that I have this wonderful thing that I do. I have this neat little business card that I give out because I like to help people feel good about themselves. <laughs> and one side, what it says is, You are awesome. I would like everybody else read the other side out loud passionately. I, I am awesome. I thought so. Butterfly wings flapping in a bark train in San Francisco in the year 2005. Think about it. When I first started giving the card out, it said, you're awesome on both sides. No matter how you look at it, <laughs> you are awesome. <laughs> and he gave one to a man in a bark train. And he looked at it and he handed it back and said, should say I am awesome. That man has changed the world. I have given thousands of these cards, butterfly and William, since the 2005. That is powerful. And I think what you've said in 20 years, what is it doing today? And you don't know. I have this another neat thing. These are called meaningful stones. And I'm going to say right now, we've got butterfly wings flapping from an email from a park ranger about a trash Washington. Let me tell you a story. I moved here to 2017 and I moved close to Guilford Court Military Park. And I walk a lot and they have this, asp uh, this asphalt fault pass that you can walk wherever you go. And when I came and I have this neat little card, I wanted to put them down in the bathrooms and a pump. But not soon after I started that, I got that email from the park ranger and it said, great message, it's trash, it's littered, and you can be fine. Oh, oh my awesome card is trashy. <laughs> but I pondered, it's littered. It's just a piece of paper on the ground. And yeah, okay, I can be fine, so I gotta do something differently. So I pondered and said, what can I do to bring happiness to the world, environmentally, environmentally correct. Mm -hmm. And I start thinking about making smiley faces with stones throughout the park. I even wrote the word joy on the side of the road in pine cone. 
I was looking different places that I could actually bring this wonderful message of awesomeness. And I made a six foot diameter smiley face under an oak tree. And it is, you can go to the circle, Cotswold and Old Battleground. You'll see. And it was not too long after that, I found these. These were pupils and those cute eyes. Mm -hmm. They're going to tip us the nose, and they help that smile even glow. They were made by Patty. She's an 80 year old owner, self proclaimed she walks 15 miles a day. And I believe her, because I've seen her walking. And she was inspired because of the smiley face that she wanted to bring some kind of positive energy to with that. <coughs> smile is there still in 2017. Mm. And the rocks are prolific. Anytime you're over, if you like one, grab one. And keep the butterfly when you slap it from that email from the park ranger. Mm -hmm. Good. Tell you a story. As far as that, now, as far as we've gone through waving high and cars that drive by, talked about emails and trashy awesome cars. That's butterfly wings flapping in time and space. How about butterflies in this Latin Beautiful space. Edgar Mitchell. He's the sixth moon, a man to walk on the moon in 1971. Before he goes to the moon, he had what was called an epiphany, an explosion of awareness and just this deep, deep sense, interconnection. On the way back from the moon, heading towards the earth, he was looking at his capsule window and it gives a 360 panoramic view. And he saw the blue planet of called Earth and the moon all set in the starlit sky. And once again, that explosion of awareness. I'm part of this in an intricate part. I am part of this. In a deep, deep sense of that inner connection with everyone. And being the scientist, he was concerned and wanted to make sure that we did some research on these types of experiences. And in 1973, the International Organization of Noetic Science was begun. Now, noetic science reveals the connection between our inner home, what surrounds us, and everything. That yes, we are all connected as one. Now, if you really think about that, means your butterfly wings are flapping all the time. And you can ask yourself, what are they doing five, 20 years that you don't know? Has that proved me that someone's done something 20 years ago and they're unaware of it? Or the wings are 